Yeah, g'day Bush Camping Tools here. Well, I've got with me Work Tough Gears Lamigo. This is a big Sabre Grind D2 made out of bowlers, actually K110 steel, which is D2. Sabre Grind with a convex edge, beautiful convex edge on there, and contoured G10 scales. And it's the perfect knife. See this here? Perfect in the water, good grip. It's not gonna, you're not gonna let go. Don't need grip. Uh, gloves on and you can see we're out in the wilds up here like that uh, perfect environment for a knife such as this you know so anyway follow me now for the next couple of weeks and I'll show you the stuff I've been doing with this okay and it also comes with a great codex scabbard talk a bit more about that in a, in a while okay let's get out of here feels good in the hand we've got a choil here some thumb jimping I like the uh, fluo orange g10 scales I had black ones on them but I swapped them out for uh, orange ones because it's just easy to see uh, like this you know it's if you if you do drop the knife or put the knife down you're not gonna lose it and I think from a survival point at least from a civilian uh, aspects being able to find the knife and see it easily is really important in the you know case that you might put it down you know you're not supposed to but you can do it people may not be infallible and uh, having a bright orange like that is less likely to lose the thing okay so it comes with a kydex scabbard with a kydex uh, belt loop up on here form in there like that which is riveted here like that and you've got a uh, nylon thick nylon double class webbing over there as well too but the security in the kydex scabbard is really really good it's molded uh, very nicely around the contours of the, the blade and uh, around the guard area so there's no way that is going to come out whatsoever and there's no rattle either on that uh, as well and there is a drain hole on the back there as well you know, so uh, I really like that aspect of the, the design. It's very, very nice. There you go, that's a big knife for the outdoors. Let's just see if you can hack into this. This is very strong, these palm fronts. Normally a job for a machete. But look at that, I mean, that's super strong and uh, also super sharp. You can see that there, just, if the knife's not sharp, it cannot cut palm fronds or the, or the leaves off the actual uh, frond itself. There you go, let's move on. Let's check it out for chopping test of the Lamingo. This is well seasoned wood, fallen wood. Tropical wood. How does it swing? It's pretty comfortable. I don't have any gloves on, as you can see. It's not wanting to part company with my hands. Not at all. Convex grind. Cutting into this very nicely. Just letting the weight of the knife do the job. Don't have to swing it like a maniac. Comfortable handle. See just a little bit of light pressure. And you can see that seasoned wood. Here we go. Good grip on the knife there. Very nice grip. Done bit of a tip test on this too yeah that's no problems with that tip look at that let's get a different angle of that all right let's look at this oops 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 got to be careful doing this in the bush that you don't trip over no look at that big chunks of wood there's no problems with that Deadly straight tip. That's beautiful wood, so it's really quite hard. 
Look at that, no problems. This is hardwood. Yes, that's a really good test whether the blade can bite into it or not. See, even such a thin piece of wood is very strong. <clears throat> it's comfortable to hold, which is important. That's pretty good with that. Okay, let's move on. Okay, we're going to take this palm front here just to see how well this chops. Well, it chops very well because there's a good bit of a momentum in that. This is a comfortable, sturdy, well-balanced knife. Uh, it's 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 got a very nice geometry there. Uh, big convex edge along here, so it bites in very well. It's a strong edge. The Bowler K110, or uh, otherwise known as D2 steel of choice for work tough gear here, is a very good choice. It's very much handling the pace out here in the Aussie bush on these hardwoods. See me uh, cutting through palms, very fibrous material with it. It, chop, it swings well, chops very well, it cuts well. Uh, it's comfortable, you know, in the reverse grip here for carving, you know, where you've you know, got in the safety grip. Yeah. Really like it and some thumb jimping there. Okay, let's move on. I've already pointed out this uh, having the fluorescent orange scales. You can have an option of this, it doesn't have to come with them. But the uh, fluorescent orange scales, it makes the knife easy to see. You can see here on the ground, you know, it really sticks out uh, in this leaf litter and everything. And I've even put it against the yellow palm frond there. But uh, it makes it easy to see, you know. Let me get rid of this and just against the, this is the natural all the natural leaf litter and and you can spot it straight away sitting down there on the ground if you were to put it down and it can happen and it makes it just so much easier if you can spot the knife straight away and not waste a lot of time looking for it okay let's put it back in the scabbard where it belongs and uh, let's move on go how does it go if i had to take it camping obviously and prepare some food you can see that I can slice these things pretty thinly despite having a thick blade. It's got a good edge. It's a, a nice saber grind. Uh, no problems. Let's just look at that. It's not mashing them. I'm not having any difficulty in cutting up onions. Right, cutting. It's really good at cutting this thing, right? Very sharp. No problems. This is fibrous material, it's flax. It's good to make all sorts of things with. You see that there? All right, let's just cut some of this. Because the knife's got to be good at cutting. This is flax, right? So I folded over a lot of it. I mean, that's just no problems. You see that? No problems. Okay, so I want to do the summary now for the Lamigo. And uh, by Work Tough Gear, I've had it out now for uh, a couple of weeks. You see me working on hardwoods, dirty hardwoods, which are laying in the ground. Uh, I talked about the handle. It's a great grip on this G10, and it's wet here where we are now. You can see it's a really good, secure grip on this knife. There's not much to say about it, really. Cuts very well, good for food preparation, uh, very ergonomic. You can hold it like this in the safety grip like that's great, too bit of thumb jimping on there and the spines are cute enough for uh, striking a fire steel which is great so there you go the Lamigo by work tough gear maybe it's right for you thanks for watching bush camping tools here out and about in the jungle now just swim off here and try not to get taken by some of these big fish